When it comes to hunting, the ability to learn something new is a skill. The skills required to bow hunt big game are born of boots on the ground and experience in the field. This is the whole purpose of this hunt, and to be fair, it's more of a scout with our bows than a hunt. We hit the edges of the fields and pound up a ridge to glass as much terrain as we can. Our intentions are to spend some time getting the lay of the land and to look for sign. We're here to learn the patterns of the deer on this property, to understand the intricacies of their movements, and to figure out the most effective way to hunt them. With just a few hours spent in the field, we managed to find recent tracks, fresh scrapes, and even put eyes on a couple of deer. In eager anticipation of the upcoming roar and the possibility of calling in deer within bow range, we let out a few stag and hind calls and are pleasantly surprised with the response we get this early in the season. Yeah, guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Out with my good hunting buddy, Mitchell Lannis Brown. We're back out on the property. We were rifle shooting on the other week. We got the bows this time. He's still roaring. Just roared up a red deer over the, across the creek here, across the river. We're just having fun. Um, this is gonna be way harder than taking a pot shot with a rifle, but it's the start of the roar. He was roaring. We're gonna put some effort into this bow hunting thing for the next couple of weeks. I'm just gonna try and See if we can get over, see if we can get a look, see if we can get an idea what's going on over there. What's going on? Right, let's go. That's awesome. I don't know, but we're going to have to put the binoculars on that. So it's moving. It is. There's two out there. Yeah, hind and a fawn. Oh, that's cool, man. That's so cool, eh? Is this camera on my head on? Let her roll though, I just want to see if she responds. Yeah. Head straight up and looking. Really? Yeah. Like instantly. She had her head down eating. As soon as you made sound, she's head up looking. That's so cool. We got eyes on a hind and a fawn. Tiny fawn though. You think it's coming into the roll if it's a yearling. I don't know. I don't know that much yet, but it's only little, it's tiny. Good one. They went? Yeah, it slipped straight into that long grass of horn with a patch of shit there near the cars. The cars were wigging her out. She wasn't enjoying that. Yeah, right. That's cool. Oh, that's the first animal spotted for the moment. That was really cool.
he's, got, he's playing hard to get now. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon last we heard him. It's definitely coming. Like, if not making his way the way those ones went the other week. He's definitely getting closer to you. Like, just think. That's rubbing. That's a mad scrape. Yeah, he's bashed shit out of this. That's snapped. That's snapped. This has been. That's been all rubbed. I'm still tipping cow. Cowy. Yeah, that's cow. That's proper rub. Oh, look at that one. Oh yeah, that's what Bel that's what Belvin is still hanging on, doesn't it? No, it's just the bark he's stripped. Man, he's bashed the hell out of this. Oh, that's still cold and smells of bark. Hey, yeah, this one's all stripped too. Well, we found where he's been hanging out anyway. He's rubbing his velvet off, getting ready for rut. That tree, this tree, that tree. They're all stripped. Little big gouges up the side of there where he's getting the tips into it. We're seeing stuff. That's cool. Yeah, look how high up he's damaged a bit. Right up through here. Like well overhead height. That's my arm full extension. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, just pounded up this ridge. We're just gonna go up this ridge line, try and look down with that wind blowing up it. So we're coming from the back. Bottom of this ridge is where I took a shot at that one the other week. Since then, Josh that we were with, Josh Smith, he's seen a big 12 pointer standing just higher up down that side. Like I said, we're not expecting to get an arrow out, you know, let one loose, but we can figure out what they're doing, where they're going. It's already about nine. Just gonna have a look. Just scouting. Walk the middle line. You can let a couple of walls go and see if they do anything. That'll give us an overhead shot of that plane out dam. We can always look back up the hill, but I think down low is where they've been spotted lately, so we'll drop down into that tree line a bit. Grass looks easy walking to. Get over this next flat spot, drop down probably 30, 40 feet, and then we'll walk back along the ridge the same way that we just came, just above the dam. With any luck, there's some sitting a bit lower. Hey man, sounds like a plan. Tick. Let's do it.
I guess we got our old sign here. Yeah. When this was wet the other week during that rain. I swear Joshy saw that big 12 point. He's standing up on this damn wall. There's definitely been a big deer come through here. Going that way. found a bedding area over here though. No. Like we found that bottom corner. We know they're coming this way at times. I still reckon they bed in that thick gnarly stuff down near the creek. All that embrasure. Yeah, I reckon if we push down and just follow that creek out, yeah, wind's in our face the whole way. Something better down in here. There's a trail, hugs that grass yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. 100% they'll walk it because it's easy walking. Yeah. This will be the runoff for that little dam. This might be an alright spot to perch up to, that tree is your backdrop. Yeah. 20 yards out of this path. Pretty much spot on, I reckon. Tracks all through that, though, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at that little one. Well, Big know. guy. Big guy, little guy. We know there's some forms getting around. But... Yeah. That could be, I reckon we found three spots worth perching up at on various mornings. Yeah, they're definitely walking this trail. Yo, that's not worn down from car, that's still a game trail. Yeah, that is now. Someone dr drives that at some stage though. Oh yeah. So we could perch up like you said under that tree. Yeah, you could sit right under that tree there. And just wait for them to walk past here. Yeah. Yeah. The success of a hunt is usually measured by the taking of an animal and packing out the meat. But even though we did not put a deer on the ground, the information this property offered up was invaluable. We found some relics of the past and a heap of fresh sign, which will give us a better understanding of what the deer are doing and where they are going for future hunts. Just slowly walking around the bush, looking and listening, sets a different pace that I'm quickly getting used to. Reflecting on this hunt, I'm grateful to have partaken in some sort of wild conversation, roaring with a red stag. It is experiences like these that will stay with me for a lifetime.